Hello gorgeous souls. I'm so excited to be back here this week. Last week you might have noticed that we did not have a session and that's because I didn't have a voice. I was really really sick with COVID. So um, but I'm back, I'm recovered and I wanted to um, share today on Valentine's Day just some beautiful tips on self-care. I thought that would be quite a um, a good way to spend our Valentine's Day. So hopefully you've been well. Let me know in the comments where you are joining me from. Um, we just had a massive storm in Melbourne and we currently don't have elect any electricity at home. So you might have noticed I'm in a different space. It's because I'm in my yoga studio. Um, so yeah, just um, enjoying being here for the afternoon in the sunshine and um, doing my lives and recording podcasts and everything from from my beautiful studio so right i wanted to really chat today about a topic that's if you kind of if you've been in my world for a while you will know that self-care is um, a really really important topic for me and um, that is because for many many years I did not think self-care was something that I needed to think about thought it was a load of rubbish um, and yeah I honestly didn't you know take the time for myself and that learn led to many many things um, such as burnout it, it led to um, my constant migraines um, backache um, and yeah so just constantly feeling overwhelmed uh, with life and yeah so a few years ago I started on my own kind of health journey um, as you might know I was on a um, on a journey to recover from two eating disorders and in that space um, the work that I did I really started noticing that um, if I don't implement self-care, my relationship with food is agitated um, back in the day. So um, I just, oh, there seems to be a, um, okay. <laughs> Seemed to have been a technical issue there for a moment. Um, so, Self-care is really, really important, and um, I wanted to talk today about just, you know, um, some misconceptions about self-care, first of all. Um, the first one is we normally think we need to spend a lot of time on self-care. Um, however, you know, some of the techniques and practices that I teach my clients um, is usually um, around two minutes minimum you know it, so it doesn't have to take long in order for you to kind of balance your nervous system or look after yourself um, so um, that's normally one of the biggest um, things that I hear from people is well you know I don't have time for that so I'm just gonna focus on everything else and the problem with that is when we don't make time for ourselves and we don't make time for self-care unfortunately we are going to feel drained and we cannot give from an empty cup so see self-care as a way to really support you so that you can support others in your work or in you know in life um, it's it's really important for us to connect in with um, with self-care so Another thing that I hear often is, well, I don't have money, so I can't, you know, go for a massage or I can't take a holiday or whatever the case is. And yes, I, I, I agree. You know, it's it's nice having those things and it's, you know, it's probably good to get away every now and then. But, you know, um, there are some options that you can try, like, you know, camping is maybe something that you could potentially do that might not cost you a lot of money or it might be free. Um, however, you know, you could just take a half an hour, hour drive to the countryside and just spend a day, have a picnic, something like that, that's not going to 
cost you anything, right? Um, what I started to do um, as part of my um, eating disorder recovery is I needed to find ways to support myself and celebrate um, my day um, or my achievements without food. And what I started doing is I made a, a, a nourishment list and I would choose something off the nourishment list um, every single day. And that really, really um, had very little um, costs involved. Um, and then I also thought of, you know, little things that I could buy myself that was not related to food. Um, and those types of things, you know, ended up being like a new nail polish or a face mask, you know, which costs like sometimes two dollars or whatever the case is. So we don't have to spend a lot of money um, on self-care, right? Um, so it's important for us to prioritize um, time f with ourselves and just looking after ourselves and our bodies. Um, our bodies are obviously the only place that we can live and if we do not look after ourselves unfortunately we are going to be burnt out or you're going to have other symptoms like headaches migraines and all those kind of things so obviously as an energy healer i go and see um, an energy healer myself um, at least every two months um, which really supports me just to make sure that i get um, um, get my energy in balance um, and prevent any any pains or energy because we when we start um, you know any p form of pain or illness usually starts in our energy layers before it will come through into the physical so it's important for me to get that energy healings done however if you do not have um, access to an energy healer well actually you do you have me <laughs> but um, if you um, don't have access to an energy healer or you don't know um, if you've never had energy healing uh, there are other ways for you to connect in with um, with self-care so I wanted to give you three little things that you can do um, for yourself uh, and hopefully you can support yourself um, through self-care in the month of love um, on Valentine's Day today. So the first one is super, super easy and it's it's a resource that we all have with us at all times. And um, that is your breath. Your breath is something that we can use to self-regulate. Um, and it's a tool that we actually probably forget about or we don't actually know that we have um, have that to our disposal but you know I need like two minutes of breath work can actually switch your digest um, your nervous system into rest and digest so um, deep breathing diaphragmatic breathing breathing deeply let your belly expand as much as you can hold the breath for a little bit and then release set a timer for the, your breath practice um, and or you can do a breath count. A count of breath is quite nice especially if your mind is quite um, busy. Um, you might set a little timer for two to five minutes and then you um, inhale for a count of four, you hold the breath for four, you exhale for four and you hold the breath for four. So you're creating almost like a little box shape um, <laughs> which um, can be really, really awesome. So breath work is amazing and it is actually something that doesn't just shift you physically, it actually shifts your energy levels as well. So if you feel out of balance, um, and like breath work is one of the quickest way for you to actually get more energy, but also balance your energy centers. So that is super, super easy and everyone can access that at any time you don't need time you don't you can even um, I've done many times um, I've done breath work in my car when I've been um, late for something or if I've been highly stressed I've just done breath work in the car while I'm driving um, I would just do a counted breath um, and that just it just helps me so 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 much so that one 
don't underestimate the power of of that so the second little practice that i wanted to give you today as um, part of self-care is something that we we can overlook and that is um a, a daily gratitude practice and the reason i talk about daily gratitude practices is because it helps you to realize what you have in your life and it helps you to release any fears any worries because when we tap into gratitude um we can let go of that maybe the anxiety or the stress that we've had and we just actually feel into more of those high vibrational feelings um that you know gets associated with um with gratitude so one way for us to shift our energy is to send our energy outwards into the world sounds sounds funny but it's true so when we are grateful for someone or something we are sending our energy outwards which means for some reason we receive a lot of soothing energy back as well so um every day um i have um i have a beautiful lunar journal and in that journal i write my gratitudes every single night before bed um you don't have to invest in a fancy notebook um you can just write it on your phone if you want um but get into a habit of doing those gratitude uh, practices um yeah so lastly i wanted to talk about mindful movement and i know when i was you know in my early recovery days from from my eating disorders i really struggled with um you know over exercising and with that um i didn't realize that very often i would pick up injuries or i would actually just be so tired and burnt out because i was doing so so much exercise so during my recovery i switched to you know focusing a lot more on practices such as yoga um and you know outdoor walking those kind of things to support me and um it has really helped me to connect more into my body so mindful movements like yoga can actually help you um to reconnect with your body build compassion for yourself you can also even um through my, the mindfulness um you know you can start noticing when you feeling maybe overwhelmed or maybe you um start noticing that you on on your way to burnout um i actually noticed the other day that i had a few um early warning signs of burnout and it's because i am very much into mindful movement and movement practices that connect mind and body and that help me um establish a, f- a fuller relationship and communication with my body so that's important um to um move your body it's very important to get some movement in get the blood flowing so our muscles don't atrophy um or so don't get stiff <laughs> or you know neck pain and back pain often comes from like inactivity um however it's also going to help you create that relationship with your body um so that you can support yourself a lot more so hopefully these three little tips will help support you um in self care um i wanted to just remind you that self care doesn't have to be expensive it also doesn't have to take a lot of time and three little techniques we talked about here doesn't have to cost you anything in fact most of them are free and those are first of all um doing some breath practices um tapping into daily gratitude practices and thirdly mindful movement so hopefully my loves that supports you and um i can't wait to hear what which one you would like to try first so pop in the comments what you would like to try 
um, out of those three options. And um, I can't wait to see you again next week. Have a beautiful week, my loves. Bye.